The Yankees are really starting to annoy me. And the Yankees need to start acting like the Yankees. The Yankees need to wake up now. Maybe this is the new Yankees. Look, I don't like the new Yankees. <laughs> Look in the mirror, okay? Look in the mirror, everybody down in Tampa. Go to the nearest bathroom, or if you're vain enough, like Tiki, to maybe have a <laughs> <laughs> to have a mirror to have a mirror nearby, locate it. All right, stare at it. I want you to look into that mirror. All right, remember the old Parcells poem, mm -hmm. "The Man in the Mirror." Yep. What's the reflection doesn't lie. The Yankees need to look in the mirror, and that starts with Hal, and that trickles down to Cashman, and the Yankees need to wake up and get out of this coma and this lingering lockout, you know, malaise that they remain in. If the Yank now, now, an hour ago, and one hour ago, the Boston Red Sox, mm -hmm. as per Heyman, have joined in on the Freddie Freeman sweepstakes. So let's get this straight. You've got the Dodgers who spend, oh yeah, and by the way, they've won a championship recently. The Jays who are coming. I mean, right now, Given their rotation, mm -hmm. Toronto's better than the Yankees. Right now, they're better. Then you look at the Rays, who have been better than the Yankees. And then you look at the Red Sox, who've got a championship much more recently than the Yankees. If the Yankees allow Freddie Freeman to... And I, I wanted Matt Olson. <laughs> I didn't really want Freddie Freeman. But if they allow that player to go within the division, then we officially start the clock, tick Tick-tock, tick-tock, and if the Yankees bomb this year, and I've thought about this, and I don't say this to be a wild man or cavalier or a hot take guy, if they allow that to happen, and the Yankees have a, a, a season, 85 wins or 88 wins, and make the playoff and get bumped early, then, it, like always, then it is official, <laughs> then they need a new general manager. Mm. This is nonsense. I hear Brian Cashman talking to Meredith Morakovic yesterday. I mean, you sound like a, like you're destitute. Uh, Brian, how would you describe your level uh, of comfort, of comfort financially? Do you have enough money? Um, yeah, I, yeah. I, 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 did the Wilpon suddenly take over the, <laughs> the Yankees? This is ridiculous. Every single rumbling, every rumor, nothing is favorably attached to the Yankees. And they better change because if the Yankees aren't careful, they're going to get their asses handed to them this year, mm. both on the radio and, more importantly, on the field. You good? Yankees got to wake up. You good? No, now? I'm good. I, I'm <laughs> definitely good. I don't know if the Yankees are good. Yeah, here's, here's the thing. BT, maybe they're content with not winning a championship. Maybe they're content with trying to get financially straight. Maybe they're content with not overspending because they feel like they have overspent so many times in the past and they have some overspending going on right now, including with Giancarlo Stanton, who's with them for the next four years, really five years. Uh, maybe they're just content. Is that okay? Can't they just be Did content? Did you just hear the tone of my voice? I don't. Are, are you trying to I toy with my, does, am, Is not. it okay? I am not. Hoffman, did I he hear the, that three-minute rant? Is it okay? I think he missed that. Yeah. Uh, I mean, of I course miss it's it not all. okay. I'm just, no. This is you as a fan. No, no, this, but this is also me as a realist, as a pragmatist. But, like, the Yankees have money. I, They're not destitute. They're not some piss-poor franchise. Start acting like the Yankees. You're not the A's. You're not the Reds. You're not some of these dirt teams who have no revenue stream. You're not the Orioles. You're going to pack it 35. 5,000 to the gills minimally on the weekends. Right. You're going to have the yes generates money, the advertising, the international sponsorship, the branding. Stop this little, the, you know, stop playing. It's like the little old lady who we love, by the way. Mm -hmm. Oh, we love the little old lady. But it's like the little old lady at the casino and she's got three chips left and she's terrified that she's going to, and I respect that. She's like, oh, oh, should I hit? Uh, I've got three $5 chips left. What should I do? Dude, start acting like the guy who walks into the casino ready to play in the high rolling room like you used to. Maybe they just, What are they doing? I'm trying to find a, a reason why they're not doing these things, BT. Because it makes perfect sense. Because Hal is not George. That's the only reason yeah, that you need to know. But that's too simple to say. But it's true. Yeah. 
I, of, of course it is, but it's just too simple to say. You still, even if he's not George Hal, is not George, he still has the money to spend. So why aren't they spending money? Why aren't they going all in for the Freddie Freemans of the world or a big trade for, for Matt Olson? They missed the boat on Matt Olson. Uh, Matt Olson I, was the target. But, BT, if it was a priority, you, you if, if, if it was a priority for the Yankees to get Matt Olson, they would have gotten Matt Olson. Don't you think so? They have, um, they have a yeah, lot. I might be another thing. I know the Braves gave up four prospects, two of whom were inside the top sixty ish or so. When yeah. I did, they gave up, they listen. The Braves gave up some real prospects. And in, and but in, if you wanted Matt Olson, the Yankees could have gotten Matt Olson. And yes. In, and in the Braves, uh, you know, farm system, it was the top fifteen. All I think four. it's four of their top fourteen. Whatever it is, no, they a, definitely that's, gave that's up a, big a lot. Deal. So you know why? Because Matt Olson is better than Freddie Freeman. That's why. <laughs> yeah, of course he is. But if the Yankees wanted Matt Olson, don't yeah. you think they'd get Matt Olson? Uh, you have Dominguez. You have Peraz. We're not giving. Listen, I, I keep saying that Hoff was asked me before the show about Volpe. I mean, I think Volpe, Volpe could be great. If Volpe was from Delaware, I'd give up Volpe. Like the fact that he's from here. Yeah. Like I, I just, well, and I know he's a big time prospect, but that guy I can't give up. The problem. But you want Wells, you want Pereira, you want Dominguez, you want Peraza. Construct a deal and get over. This is an aside. The problem. Late. The problem with Volpe right now is that his hype is getting. It's getting greater with him <laughs> not playing at a, a, a second, right? Yeah, that's, not that even is hasn't true. been in high A or only been in high A. Just hasn't, high A, yeah. Hasn't been in double A. Hasn't yeah. been in triple A. But the hype on Volpe just keeps getting higher without him doing a thing, and that's not necessarily a good thing because you create this crazy expectation. But I, I keep going back to the question, BT. Yes. If the BT. Yankees wanted Matt Olson, yes. they would have Matt Olson. I can't don't answer you that so? for you, buddy. You can ask me this 10,000 so, so, different ways. So let's just, I don't have an okay, answer so for you. So let's think about why they're not going after the Matt Olsons of the world. Well, like, what's why, your theory? Why, uh, I think that they're – not that they're content. I think that they want to build – in a prudent way, and they don't want to spin to win championships anymore. It's what they did for so many years, and it, much to the much of the joy, elation of the fan base is like, "Hey, we need that guy. Let's go get that guy." Yeah, yeah. And nowadays, they're just saying, "But it was always bolstered by a terrific of farm course, system, as we of, know." Of course, but the farm system had fallen on hard terms, for as, sure, as you know, as Run and, DMC would say, <laughs> "Hard times, <laughs> hard times." Uh, but now they're starting to slowly. Uh, Get it back. Yes. Right. And, I appreciate and, even, that. and even last year with the Gallo deal and the Rizzo deal, they gave up some pieces last they didn't give year. Up much. I know they did. So they, they but they Freddie gave Freeman, up. Uh, give Freddie Freeman thirty more million dollars than the Dodgers, the Rays, the Red Sox, and Toronto, and mm-hmm. you give it up no prospects. Yeah, I, How I'm, about that? I, because okay. there's your answer. That that's the answer. And now, how that, much do you are you do you want to win or are you possessed to win? Mm-hmm. And the old Yankees used to be possessed yes. to win. Yes. I'm not saying they don't want to win. I'm not trying to be unfair. I know what you're but saying. But they are certainly no longer seemingly possessed to win. Yeah, it was it was part and it's gotta be said. It was part of the DNA of the organization was winning. And if you didn't have any if you weren't winning, and I'm not talking about divisions and you know getting to the NL uh, the ALCS, I'm talking about winning championships. It was like you were part of you was missing. I think that that era of Yankees baseball is likely gone because they want to do it prudently, BT. Mm. And, I, okay. I mean. You could prudently get your ass handed to you in October again. <laughs> that's the problem go. because everybody else is Prudence. getting better. Prudence Every, prevails. Everybody else is getting better. Um, I'm just trying to find a reason. I'm not disagreeing with you at no, all. No, I understand what you're I, saying. I think. can't come with the passion that you come no, no, with No, I got on you. This. I got but, you. But in the absence of an explanation, yeah. we've got to look for a reason. Well, Why are they not doing this? I, 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 I don't know. 877-337-6666. Now, just so everybody knows that I'm not just a ranting and raving lunatic, <laughs> I also come with solutions. Go ahead. I also come with solutions, right? I come with plan Bs and Cs here. And I want to let you in on this little thought. So yesterday was an interesting day for the Cincinnati Reds. All right, Winker, who's a stud, and Suarez, who had a bad year but is very interesting, are now in Seattle. So the Reds are obviously purging their roster. Yep. So now let's forget about what's bothering me deeply about the Yankees. Let's push it forward for a moment, try to connect the dots, and cross a bridge to a better tomorrow, a more competitive tomorrow. So rather than lament what they may have done, okay, let's accept what they've done and then try to push this forward. Donaldson, two years, 50 mil. Now, I would not have spent $50 million on Josh Donaldson, Mm -hmm. but I really like him as a player. You know that. What he brings to the clubhouse. I've always, always liked him. And I, I, I think I may have told you the story a long time ago when I was working in San Francisco. I'm sitting there watching a game with Billy Bean. 
and up in the press box, and he said, uh, J- Josh had just come up, and he's like, this kid, this kid's a football player. He's got a football mentality. You're going to like this kid. And he was right. Donaldson's a big-time player. Now, if that's the direction you're going to go, and it's kind of like two-year deals to, to bridge it to a more fruitful tomorrow with the young kids, don't you think it might make sense, I don't know, maybe, to call the Reds and say, all right, it's not going to take Volpe to get some of your players, so what would it take to get Joey Votto and or Castillo, okay. who's a pitcher and obviously Votto's a first baseman? Do I think that Rizzo is better than Votto? No. I think that Votto is better than Rizzo. Now, the money... He is 38. I understand. 37. I, I no, say. I get that. He, he, he's not young, Mm-mm. but neither is Josh Donaldson. He's 36. It's true. So it's completely in sync with your timeline. The money would be a little bit more. Uh, Rizzo probably gets two years, I'm just, I don't know, 30, whatever it might be, something like that. Maybe a little, two years, 40-ish, maybe a little less. Uh, you've got a little bit more money on Votto, but Votto's a better player. So if you're going to go down this, this Band-Aid bridge, so to speak, why not get Votto, who's better than Rizzo, is only a little bit more money and wouldn't cost you top prospects? I mean, like, let's get creative here, Yankees. You could, but... Are, are Yankees fans excited about a 37, soon to be 38 year old Joey Votto? Yeah, I know he hit 30. What do you have? 35, 36, 36 bombs, 36 OPS. home runs last year. But the previous few seasons, yeah, he was down. The not the non uh, the COVID season. You know, forget throw that one out because it was only he only played 54 games, I think, in that season. Uh, it was 11, 12. Like he didn't hit a ton of home runs. Yep, you got to go back five or so years. So was last year an anomaly, or was it where he's trending? You know, is he trending the opposite way? That's, well, the, that's the only question. No, I, just, I, I, just I, don't, I just don't know if you're excited but I, about do, that. But do I think he – listen, did Rizzo have 99 ribs a year ago? No. He's 32. No. no. I mean, Rizzo hasn't been that guy for a little bit. No, you're and, right. Listen, it's probably going to be Rizzo. I guess what I'm trying to do is is play both sides of the fence. Let you know mm-hmm. how bothered I am by what's happening with the Yankees, but also be a man of solution. Be a man of solution, you know? Be a be a bridge guy, but at the end of the day, BT, do you do you need a, another masher? Do you need the masher? You need at a first? lefty, dude. I, you need I, a lefty. I hear you. I you hear need you. a lefty. But do you need the masher at first base? For under, understanding the dimensions of the park and the importance of the the left handed sticks, we got that. But mm-hmm. do you need another masher, or is it more important that they get the rotation correct? I think both. If you want to win, I think it's both, dude. Toronto is coming. Mm. The Rays are already better. And the Red Sox are the Red Sox. Yeah. I'm not messing around with some whack division like the Tampa Bay Devil Rays where you show up back in the day and you beat them by the aggregate score of 37 to 9 <laughs> and you just have fun and you pump up your stats. I mean, they're a better baseball team. So I, I, I understand the question. And this is not about being being moved by the, the arrogance of having an all-star at every position. Yeah. No, but I do think Votto, who also brings a unique quirkiness and a character uh, element that Donaldson brings, I think it would be good for the clubhouse in terms of galvanizing a relatively uh, benign group of players in terms of personality. Again, I don't think that they'll do this. Yeah. And they very well might sign Freddie Freeman today. Uh, and then that will render some of my energy to start the show, some of it, a little meaningless. But that's not the guy that I want. Mm. I don't think Freeman was the play. But he- I don't. But who do, I you, don't. who do you think the Yankees I want? I wanted Matt Olson. I know, but who do the Yankees want? It seems like they're not you putting... You want my honest answer? They don't, they're not putting a premium on these position players. The all-star at every position. This is what's worrying me more than anything. When you ask me who do the Yankees want, you want my answer? I don't know if the Yankees know who they want. Mm. Because they're kind of like half, well, we're kind of in the Freeman sweepstakes and... Well, we're, you know, yeah. and on it's some never, level it's attached never, to Olsen, but, well, we got Rizzo on speed dial. Who do you want? And it never comes in t- for internally. It's always like, yeah, we hear that the Yankees want this guy. Uh, we hear that the Yankees might be going after this guy. Yeah. And it's never concrete. It's never the Yankees are putting in an offer for X. Correct. It's always kind of speculative. It's not aggressive. It's almost like, and not to take a shot at the Mets, but... It's almost like the way the Mets used to do it. Mm -hmm. Like, they're attached, they're in the room, but they're not really sitting at the table. And now it's like, the Mets are going after Max Scherzer, and they're going to sign Max Scherzer. The Mets are going after Canna, and they're going to sign him. By the way, Marte pulls his oblique already. Uh, I mean, come on, dude. Did you take any swings during the lockout? (laughs) Uh, Dove came in before the show. He's like, 
Did you ever heard of it oblique before three years ago? No, remember baseball? when I ripped mine, my intercostal? I couldn't I move know, for three months. But nobody man. ever talked about oblique injuries. <laughs> ever. It's a, it's so prevalent in baseball. All right. 877-337-6666. Tiki and Tierney live inside the Town Fair Tire studio. Our friends at Town Fair Tire remind you that at Town Fair Tire, you always get the guaranteed lowest price on name brand tires from Connecticut to Maine. Nobody beats Town Fair Tire. Nobody. Now, again... This is not arrogance. This is not like we are above everybody else and beyond repro- No, but there's got to be a minimum level of expectation for the New York Yankees. They are still the pinstripes. They are still the most revered franchise in all the sport, and they're not acting it. And it's rubbing us all the wrong way, and it's got to change. Let's go. All right, let's start with David in Queens. David's on the fan. What up, Dave? Hey, what's going on, fellas? How are you? We're good, Dave. What's happening? Appreciate you guys. Uh, look, look, I just wanted to check in real quick because I'm surprised how universal it is across this whole station, how if the Yankees don't get Freeman, it's like the end of the world. I don't think so, man. I know you guys don't mean it that drastically, but yeah, I look at it this way, bro. Can you guarantee me that this guy can play in New York? Yes. I can. Really? Freddie, Freddie Freeman is one of I the few know, guys. I know, I a lot of guys could play in New York, but they couldn't play in New York. It's yeah, but so Freddie, I'm saying is, he's, he's such guess. a vet, though. <laughs> Freddie is, I mean, he's he's beloved. He works his ass oh, off. He's a series hero. He's a hero, right? He, he was, I mean, again, it was Atlanta. It's not New York. I hear you. But he just feels like he's got that He's demeanor. above that stuff. He, he's, he wouldn't he's melt, Dave. It. Yeah. He'd be great. I don't know, but what I'm saying, though, is that I don't think that it's such, like, he's better than Rizzo, yes. But I don't think it's, like, worth the risk, man. You got a guy named Rizzo that could actually play in New York. He likes it here. No, what did he do? Oh, he likes and it. But how, well, well, hold on, hold on. I, he, hold on. He likes it, it here, but did he really do that well? Mm. I don't think he did that well. But all I'm saying is that, look, you, you mentioned before, right? You yeah. talked about how the Yankees had, like, a, um, I forgot the word you used, like, a infatuation with winning. Yeah. I think that got them in trouble, man. They haven't been the Yankees since George. I think that got them in trouble. They started going out there and getting A Rod when they didn't have to. They got out there, got Sheffield. They didn't win it. Yeah, but Dave, hold on. A Rod, without A Rod, the without A Rod, the Yankees. Well, hold on, Dave. Without A Rod, the Yankees are on a multiple decade drought of championships. Mm -hmm. We can say whatever we want about Alex Rodriguez during that World Series in '09 against the Phillies. He was a right-handed Babe Ruth. Yeah, he was transcendent. Finally. Finally, yeah, no, it took them all. I, 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 I got to get that. Um, and listen, A-Rod brings enough baggage his own way with, you know, some of the, uh, I don't know, just the the forced smiles yeah. and the uneasiness on the camera, some of the dopey things he did. Alex Rodriguez, steroids or not, was one of the all-time greats. Uh, he was. And he did that in 2009. So that's not the right example. Now listen, there probably is a middle ground uh, in terms of, you know, without going all the way in and sacrificing all the prospects. I'm not advocating that. I'm merely stating what they're doing now and what they've done thus far is not nearly enough. Forget about winning a World Series. They're not winning the division. Mm -hmm. They are not better than multiple teams right now. I would agree with that. Right now. Right. As on, pa on, paper, on paper right now, I would agree with that. Not to mention the Tigers. I Probably the White Sox who are pretty good. All right, the Astros going to lose Correa. They're still pretty good. Like, they're still good teams. The Rangers spent, the what, $500, $500 million? I'm not saying the Rangers are going to be, the, but at least they're trying. I don't know. And how about this stat? I did not know this, and I have been talking about Matt Olson. And then I'll let it go because he's not coming. I get it. Matt Olson. Hoff, listen to this stat. This is amazing, T. 22 home runs off lefties a year ago mm -hmm. as a lefty batter, right? That's the most home runs ever in a season for a left-handed batter against left-handed pitching. You know who's number two? Who's that? Barry Bonds. Wow. You know who's number three? No. Griffey. Mm. This guy yeah. might be the best fielding first baseman. He's 27, and he mashes lefties, and you didn't aggressively go out and get Matt Olson? Wow. That is criminal. That was the guy. 877-337-6666. 